Hi, I'm Laura Hughes and I'm an engineer with Aero.com, back with another piece of technology that caught my eye. For this episode of Product Insights, I want to chat a little bit about MicroSemi's Super Junction MOSFET. This part right here is the APT47N60SC3G. When I say Super Junction, I actually do mean that. If I were to just throw this on the table, you'd be like, wow, that's a really big MOSFET. It's only 16 by 16, and it has a giant heat slug on the back, so it's actually pretty compact, but you'd still think that's really, really large when you talk about FETs that we are used to now. But if I were to say I've got a device here that can switch 47 amps continuous, you'd be waiting for me to pull out some fist-sized relay. So it's really all a matter of perspective, because that's what this can do. Now this is actually an older part. It was released in 2002. But the RDS on is still advertised at a very competitive 0.07 ohm. Though technically when you get in the operating region, it's more like 100 milliohm. When it does operate, this vet can withstand 600 volts drained to source. It's more commonly used like a typical transistor with a VDS of maybe 20 or 30 volts. But if that normal transistor could also dissipate 400 watts to switch pulses of over 100 amps. So it's super in more ways than one. If you're only trying to push a measly handful of amps through this FET, you could use a gate voltage as low as 3.3 volts. That's really amazing for something this powerful. You really should use a VGS of at least five no matter what you're doing and probably more like 10 to 12 if you're trying to drive the FET hard enough to take advantage of what it can do. If you do crank it to 11, the total gate charge can go north of 250 nanocoulombs, so you probably don't want to be driving this directly from an Arduino or something else at 3.3 volt logic. But with proper precautions, you really could use this behemoth in a circuit with completely standard logic levels. And remember, if you are looking to whip around nearly 50 amps at high voltages, make sure you do it right. Use thick traces, put your board on a heat sink, wear safety goggles the first time you put it on, with great power comes great potential for flying, flaming components. For more product insights like this, stop by arrow.com under articles and videos, or just click subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good luck with what you make.